going to show you a little bit about the smart board today. Smart board, one of the most simple things about it is it comes with its own software called the Smart Notebook. Now you can take this notebook uh, software and put it on your own laptop or your own computer in your office as well so that you can do a lot of this stuff beforehand if you like to. However, for example, in my quantum mechanics class, I didn't do a lot of preparation beforehand, and I would come in and I would write, you know, introduction to quantum. Okay. All right. And then I would go on, and I actually did almost all of my physics lectures in my quantum mechanics class in this format. So I would do my little equations, you know, and I'll show you some examples of this. Okay, so it's very easy. As you can see, it's a pretty smooth thing to write with. You can change your colors and stuff like that. But one of the nice things about this is, and I'll, here I'll show you a lecture that's already finished. Uh, let's see if I can find uh, one of the notebook files for my quantum class, which would be in here. And so I'll just I'll just pick one. Um, okay, this was class number twelve. This is the actual notebook software. So actually, you can see that the Tuesday uh, writing at the top is actually a nice type. One of the things about the notebook software it does handwriting recognition. Now it won't do a very good job with your script. But it will do a fairly good job with your print. So if you write something, you can just then go and select it and say, recognize, hello. And now hello is text that you can move around and do various things with. Okay. So I had come in in the morning, and I actually just wrote the date on top. And then the rest of it I did with my students in class. So one of the things is, so I can go back. So let's say this was something I did earlier in the semester, I mean, in the, in the actual um, lecture. And then with a typical blackboard, 20 minutes later, this would be erased. So now I'm down here in my lecture, and the student asks a question about something that I, with a chalkboard, would have already erased. And I can just go back, and not just go back to it, but actually make additional comments on it. I can make additional comments on it. I can circle important things, okay? And everything that I do is saved. You can put pictures in notebook, you can put graphical data in notebook, or you can just go on and on with your own writing. So what I would do at the end of the class, I'm not gonna save this one. At the end of the class, there's an easy export feature which basically turns it into a PDF. So, Here's the PDF from that particular class. This is another one. Nice printable. And you can see the quality of the PDF is actually very decent. And then what I do with that is I put it on the internet. You could also use Blackboard or any other thing that you have. So for example, this is the syllabus for that course that I was just showing you. And a student can go after class and access that file. And actually, again, you can see that the quality is amazing. Right? They can go, they can print this out after class. So the other thing that's nice is I found that the students tend to do a lot less scribbling. Because if, for example, they didn't write fast enough to catch this last little piece, they can always go back and look at the notes online. So, so that's kind of sort of how it works with an upper level class where I basically treated the smart board like a smart blackboard, okay? I pretty much did my equations, et cetera. So let's suppose you have a PowerPoint presentation, and this is one that my students from the subatomic zoo did last year. We'll just sort of use it as an example. And so you open up your PowerPoint file and you start to play. And, you know, now it's time to go to the next slide. So you just hit this. You can also use the keyboard as well to advance the slides. And now suppose a student asks something about black holes, okay? 
that is not on this particular slide? Well, first of all, you could circle black holes and you could define them. This is interesting writing. And you could define something about black holes. And then what you can do is you can actually capture this and put this into the notebook software, okay? including the new writing and the original stuff. But what's nice is about this is if you haven't anticipated, and we should hope we don't anticipate all the questions our students are going to ask us, that you can then add them to this. Okay? So now I have my PowerPoint with the additional things that the students suggested we take a look at. And so I can click on this. Okay? And that whole entire thing now, my original plus that, will be captured into the notebook program. So I still have my original PowerPoint, which remains unchanged. But, notebook. Here's the notebook file, okay? And so now a notebook is a screenshot, basically, of what I captured from the screen, which was the additional stuff. The other kinds of things that you can capture is you can be on a web page, for example. I don't know. It's web page, okay? And if you wanted to um, discuss this lovely picture here and, you know, identify the rooftops and, you know, discuss the width of the tree, whatever your fancy is, then as well you can just capture that. So it's going to include both the original underlying web page and it's going to include the material, whatever I wrote on top of it. So, you know, we can go back to notebook and it'll be there as well. Okay? And all that can be saved. This is an Excel spreadsheet and same kind of thing. You can, you can change what's in the, in the spreadsheet, make your changes, and then everything automatically updates with that. So pretty much any program that you run, um, on your computer, you can um, use with notebook. Now, I don't know whose this is. This is a Word file. And you can use the smart board with the Word files as well. Again, sort of commenting on things or making notes about things. Okay. And then if you want, same sort of thing. Maybe you don't want the whole thing. Maybe you just want that piece and not go straight into notebook as well. Now, the other thing is, in Word, let's, again, I don't know whose file this is, but we could select this. So you might have something you typed on your computer, okay? We can copy this, edit, copy. We can go back to the notebook file, okay? Um, make a new page. Okay, a new blank page, and we could paste. And there's the text straight from the Word file. And there, I think you can actually edit this. Like you can, you can change the font, you can stretch it, and you know do the basic kinds of things that you can do. And but I believe you can actually then edit. I think you can edit this too. Yeah. So even after you put your word in. So if you've already got a lot of material in Word, and you don't want to feel like you're redoing everything, you can just pop things right into the notebook software and make your edits that you like. Um, you can put pictures in. I know we had go back to Blackboard, I believe, this picture. Okay, so now, again, any picture, I'm going to get rid of the word file so we're not looking at too many things here. Okay, so here's, here's the notebook file. And again, what I find probably one of the best ways to use it is that you can prepare, just like you would in PowerPoint, a lot ahead of time. And then you can come in and do the rest with your students. So, and the students love to come up and use it too. And handwriting-wise, 
it's fairly decent. I mean, every now and then you have to fix it up a little bit. My students have watched, my students who took quantum mechanics and also took another class with me years before on a regular chalkboard actually said that my speed is about the same. So they don't notice any differences with that. So.